Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at a for loop. Now loops are a very important part of programming and basically what loops do is it will repeat a series of code or a block of code for you a certain amount of times. Now with a for loop it does that block of code however many times you want it to and later on we're going to be using loops that will do it based on other things. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and create a variable and we'll just call it int1 as integer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our for loop. So we're going to start off by using the keyword for and we're going to specify int1 and we're going to set int1 equal to something because it isn't equal to anything yet. And so now we're going to start for 1 and then we're going to use the keyword 2 and let's just do 20 and then you can see that it adds a next for us so basically what this does is it takes it starts off with 4 which tells it that we're going to be making a loop it takes int 1 and sets it equal to 1 and then it's going to do it from 1 to 20 so the first time it runs the for loop int 1 is going to be equal to 1 and then when it comes back up to the top int 1 is going to be equal to 2 and then 3 and then 4 and so on and so forth so int 1 is going to go all the way up to 20 and then once it hits 20 it'll run the, the code the for loop one more time and then once it's equal to 21 it's not going to do the for loop again so to demonstrate this I will just type console dot write line int 1 is equal to and then we're just going to go ahead and use our and sign and we're going to type int 1 so basically what this does is it says int 1 is equal to and then takes the current value of int 1 because we don't know what, what int 1 is equal to we're just going to put the variable name there so now we're going to do console dot read line and if we run this you can see that it says int 1 is equal to 1 int 1 is equal to 2, int 1 is equal to 3, and it will go all the way down until int 1 is equal to 20. Now you can change this number up here to do the for loop as many times as you want. So we can even do it a hundred times. And you can see that it has 100 lines right here. And it starts off with 1 and goes all the way up to 100. but here here's one thing that will invalidate our for loop and keep it from running so if we start out with int 1 equals 1 and then we go to negative 1 you can see that it won't print out anything because default for loops will count up one value so since int 1 starts at 1 whenever it comes whenever it hits the next keyword right here it's going to send it back up to this 4 and it's going to add 1 to int 1 and so since it add one, adds 1 to int 1, int 1 is now equal to 2, and our for loop goes to negative 1, so it's not going to run at all. So now that you have learned a little bit about for loops, uh, you can go ahead and make your own for loop. Uh, they're very useful, and we're going to be using them a lot later on in programming. Uh, there's a lot of other loops that you're going to be learning about. You're going to be learning about, um, so far we've learned the for each, then we're going to learn do until, do while, there's your while loops um, and then there's a lot of other loops that are very useful in programming so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial